Salutation second graders and welcome to math lesson 25 on our mobile learning platform. Today we're on pages 299 to 300 probability. Boys and girls probability means that something is probable. So in our classroom when we do raffles and everybody in the classroom gets to put a raffle ticket in the raffle then there's 23 tickets right? So it would be 20 three for the denominator because that would be the whole group and then your chance of winning my raffle would be one out of 23 because I would pull one ticket. Well today I want to go over probability with a bag of Skittles. So let's go ahead and open up my Skittles and see what we have. All right I have, let's count how many total. I have two, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I have fourteen Skittles, friends, if I can show them to you. So here are my Skittles. Okay. Now let's go ahead and make some notes. Let me get my whiteboard out. And I have fourteen total Skittles, right? Fourteen Skittles that were in my bag of Skittles. Okay, now of those 14 Skittles, I have one, two, three, four, five red. So I have five out of 14 Skittles are red. Okay, how many are orange? Let's see, I have one, two, three, four, five are orange. So I have five out of 14 that are red. I have five out of 14 that are orange. Sorry guys, I know it's messy. All right, and then I have two green. So two out of how many are green? Two out of 14, right? So it has to be in fraction form because 14 is my total number of Skittles. We did an exercise like this in class earlier in the year, but we weren't doing probability. So just stay with me. Two out of 14 are green. And now friends, I have one out of 14 are yellow, one out of 14 are purple. So I have two more fractions to write. One out of 14. Uh oh. Let's see, one out of 14 are yellow. They won't let me write, friends. Um, let's see, technical difficulties. Thank you for hanging in there, second graders. One out of 14 is yellow. And one out of 14 is purple, right? Now, if I add up all my fractions the way that we were taught in our, um, in our adding and subtracting fractions, we should end up with a total of 14 out of 14, which is one whole, which was what we had in the bag of Skittles, right? So this is purple and it's not gonna let me write it. So every, oh, maybe it will. No, nope, it doesn't wanna let me write friends. You know, let me text it then. Let me type it in. Ha, there we go. All right, so let's take a look then. I have five plus five is 10, plus two is 12, plus one is 13, plus one is 14. So I have a total of 14 Skittles. That's why that's my denominator. And now friends, looking at the numbers on the screen, what's the probability that I'm going to pull out a red Skittle from my coffee cup? Well, I put all 14 in there. There's five out of 14 probability that I'm going to get a red one. And I did, right? Now, probability means out of how many, what are you going to get? 
So let's take a look at your math paper. That's just our little mini lesson, right? We broke it all the way down, the whole bag of Skittles. So I have 14 Skittles. Five out of 14 are red, five out of 14 are orange, two out of 14 are green, one out of 14 are yellow, and one out of 14 are purple. So I did one and I got a red one. I did two and I got another red one. Let's see if we can get a different color this time. Three times I got a red one. I got an orange one, but look, we have a five out of 14 chance of getting red and a five out of 14 chance of getting an orange. So, so far I've gotten red and orange and I've done four pools, right? Here we go, another pool, another red one. So are there more red in here? No, there's more red and orange in here than there are green, yellow, and purple. So we're gonna do our probability page, a red one again. Wonder if I, how many times it would take me to get a yellow or a purple. The probability says one out of 14 pools would be yellow and look, I got a yellow. Awesome, we're gonna stop there friends and we're gonna go ahead and take a look at your paper, get it in front of you. Okay, we're on page 299 and I'll get mine out. Here we are second graders, probability. Let's read the blue box at the top of the page. It says, Australians enjoy throwing boomerangs. Stores sell many styles and colors of boomerangs. So far today, one store has sold six boomerangs. Three of them had painted patterns. One was red and two were green. If the store sold another six for a total of 12, predict how many of each style would be sold. So they broke it down this way and they said, if three out of six have a pattern, then six out of 12 will have a pattern. Oh, look friends, they made them into equivalent fractions, right? So the total number of boomerangs that were sold was six and three of those six had a pattern. So then the question said, but what if there were 12 sold, right? So, we take 12 divided by six. Oh look, it's the backward C that we used. Awesome. So 12 divided by six gives us two. Then we're gonna multiply one times two to get two, okay? And then it asks us, friends, that if two out of six are green, then how many out of 12 will be green? And again, you set it up as an equivalent fraction and you say, if two out of six, are green, then how many out of 12 would be green? And if we do our backwards C, that's how you get the answer. So that may be a little confusing second graders, but we're learning and it's okay. Stay with me, we're gonna work on these together. Are you ready? All right. A boomerang store sold a total of 18 boomerangs. How many of each style did they probably sell? Are you ready? Backward C, what's my first step? Going this way, we're going to divide. Good job. So 18 divided by six is three. Now we have to go this way and we're going to multiply. So three times three is nine. So let's ask, ask ourselves, does that make sense? Three six is equivalent to nine eighteenths, yes. Totally makes sense. Second graders, awesome job. Let's keep going. 18 divided by six. Well, look, didn't we just do that in number one? We sure did. So it's 18 divided by six. It's three. And three times one, put the answer over there, is gonna be three. So one sixth is equivalent to three eighteenths. All righty, second graders, backwards C again with me. We have 18 divided by six and we get same, we get three. Three times two is going to give me what? Six. So, so far so good? Turn your paper over. We're going to answer the questions about the tennis balls. Oh, here we go. This is gonna be kind of like what we did with the Skittles, right? So, they wanna know, are you more likely to pick a yellow or a purple ball? Well, we have to pay attention. How many of the balls are yellow and how many of the balls are purple? Let's look, I have one yellow and I have three purples. So which one do you think we're more likely to pick? 
just like in our Skittles cup, you're gonna be more likely to pick the color that we have more of. So purple is going to be our answer. Right on, good job second graders. Which two colors are you equally likely to pick? Well, let's see, is there any color ball there that two colors that have the same amount, like we had red and orange Skittles that both were five? You're right, good job. We have orange and purple, right? There are three orange balls and there are three purple balls. How many orange balls are you likely to get in eight picks? Are you ready? If you get eight picks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and there are eight balls, you are likely to get one, two, three. Three. Right on? Just like with the Skittles, okay? And in 16 picks, well now we have to set it up, right? If I have three out of eight, it's going to be equal to how many out of 16? Backwards, see this way, we're gonna go divided by, we're gonna get a three, and then we're gonna go this way, multiply, and we're gonna get, sorry, it's not a three, it's a two. Mrs. Mueller made a mistake, silly Mrs. Mueller. 18, 16 divided by eight is two, because two times eight is 16, and two times three is six. Good catch, second graders. So the answer up here should be six, okay? Now, two out of five, what would you predict for 10 picks? So if I got two out of five is equal to how many out of 10? Again, do our backwards C. We're gonna go this way and divide. We're gonna go this way and multiply. So 10 divided by five is two. Two times two is four. So our answer there should be four. Right on? How are you feeling, second graders? You're doing great. Stay with me a little bit longer. We're almost done. Okay, I have two out of eight, so two over eight, right? Two out of eight is equal to how many out of 24? 24 divided by eight is three. Three times two is six, so our answer here is six. Yes? So far so good? All right. Then we have four out of nine. Set up your fraction is equal to how many out of 18? How many out of 18? Well, 18 divided by nine. Multiply it by four. So 18 divided by nine is two. Two times four is eight. Okay. Ready? I have one out of four. How many out of 12? 12 divided by Four is three. Three times one is three. Five divided by, or five out of six, sorry. And then we're going to equal that or make it equivalent to how many out of 18? 18 divided by six is three. Three times five is 15. All right. And finally, friends, we have five out of eight is equal to how many out of 16? 16 divided by eight is two. This time I got it right. Two times five is 10. 10 is my answer. Awesome. Second graders, I know that that's a lot, but we've been working with backwards C and you are doing great. This is just how we make probability and then we, we show it in equivalent fraction form, okay? Now, these Australian animal stickers are in a bag. If we pick one without looking, then what would be an impossible outcome? Impossible, meaning we couldn't have it. I put those in a bag and I wanna pick one out. It's impossible that I would get, what? Impossible that I would get a dog. There's no dog in there, right? Now name a certain outcome. Well, friends, you would certainly get either a koala cockatoo
for a kangaroo, right? Certainly you would get an Australian animal and I could have just written Australian animal. And then all of the possible outcomes are already up here. So now you would write koala. Okay, cockatoo. Or kangaroo. So then that means 14 should have said Australian animal. But you would have to know that they were all from Australia. How many of you knew that? Okay. Now, what's the probability for each outcome? So remember for probability, how many animals do I have in total? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. So I have however many over five, right? Now, out of the five animals, how many are koalas? One out of five, one fifth, very good. How many are kangaroos? One out of five. And how many of, are, of them are cockatoos, friends? Three out of five. Good job, second graders. That's our lesson for probability. I want you to have a great day. I'll see you soon for some more mobile learning. Bye, friends.